This is Into Math, third grade, lesson 10.1. Use expanded form to add. I can use expanded form and partial sums to add two and three digit numbers. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 270. We will start under Build Understanding, part one. You can pause at any time. Elena and her family watch the owl show at the nature center in the city park. There are 37 adults and 48 children in the audience. How many people are watching the owl show? And they'd like us to use expanded form to add 37 and 48. So let's take a look at the connective vocabulary to understand expanded form. So expanded form is a way to write numbers by showing the value of each digit. And so they give some examples here. They take 59 and they know that the five represents five tens, which is 50, and the nine represents nine ones, which is nine. So 59 expanded is 50 plus nine. The other example is 214 where they have expanded the number 214 to show the two hundreds as 200, the one group of 10 as 10, and the four ones as four. So they have expanded 214 to read 200 plus 10 plus four. Let's take a look at our word problem. They would like us to add 37 and 48 using expanded form. So we will start with 37. And I know that there are three groups of 10 in 37 and seven ones. Those are my place values. So I can write um, that 37 really means 30 plus seven. Now let's take a look at the other number 48. We notice that there are three groups of 10 and eight in the ones column. So we know that 48 equals 40 for the four tens plus the eight ones. So 48 is really 40 plus eight. Now we will add these numbers which are in expanded form. We will start with the tens. We can add the 30 and the 40 because they are both um, tens and easy to, to add and we find that that is 70. And then we can add seven and eight and find that that's 15. And we're not finished yet because we still need to add uh, 70 and 15 together. So then we add 70 plus 15 and get the answer of 85, which is our total. So part A asks, how did you write 37 and 48 in expanded form? And so we can go back to um, where we were working and we can write this out. 37 equals 30 plus seven and 48 equals 40 plus eight. Part B asks, how did you use place value to add? So we first added the tens when we were um, adding 30 plus 40 here, we added that first, and then we added the ones column. So we can explain, I added the tens and then the ones. Part C asks, how many people are watching the owl show? And we can answer that there were 85 people. Now let's take a look at the next page, 271, under Step It Out, Part 2. Use partial sums to add two or three digit numbers. Find 425 plus 167. Let's remember that an estimate is a number that is close to the exact amount. When you find an estimate, you find about how many or how much. So if you would like to pause and try part A, which is to write an estimate for 425 plus 167, you can do so and come back. 
I would suggest looking at the tens column and seeing what each number is close to in the tens column as a, as a helpful hint. A close number to 425, I would say would be 430 if we're looking at the closest 10. And then we need to add it to 167 and that's pretty close to 170. So this would be my estimate equation. Now we need to solve this equation. So if you again would like to pause and try this on your own and come back, you can do so. Um, when you come back, you will find that the answer is 600. All right, let's take a look at part B. Write each add-in in expanded form. So first we have um, 425 and they have already um, started writing. So they said there are four um, hundreds in this number and then they wrote that here. Then they uh, looked at this and said there were two tens and so they wrote 20 and they're missing what's next which would be the five which uh, five one so we can write that in here as five and now if you would like to try the next number 167 you can pause and try that on your own and come back or just follow along with me so first part is that we notice there are there's 100 so we're going to write 100 then we notice in the uh, tens column that there are six tens, and that really means 60. So we will write 60 here. And then finally, we notice there's a seven in the ones column, which means seven. So we have expanded 167 to 100 plus 60 plus seven. Okay, part C asks us to find the partial sums. We need to add the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. If you would like to try this on your own and come back, you're welcome to do that or follow along with me. So first we will add the hundreds. 400 plus 100 is 500. Next we will add the tens. So 20 plus 60 makes 80. And then we will add the ones, five plus seven, which makes 12. Okay, part D asks us to add the partial sums. So we will add these three numbers. So we have 500, we have 80, and we have 12. So again, if you'd like to pause and um, compute this equation, you can do that. And when you come back, you will find that the answer is 592. If you would like to go back and re-watch this video, you can do so and pause along the way at any time as needed.